Hello Year 8s, um, it's Lesson 2 on the Forces, Waves and Generating Electricity booklet. We are currently on magnets now. That's another example of a non-contact force. The last time we had a look at um, static electricity, another example of a non-contact force where objects don't actually have to physically meet, as you're going to find out today. Now, permanent magnets have a north and a south pole. They exert a non-contact force on each other. These forces will either attract or the opposite to attract is repel. Let's have a look at a video showing exactly what happens. Two Norths are brought together and they repel. Let's watch that again. Two Norths are brought together and they repel. If you bring a north and a south pole together, they attract. Let's have a look at that again. North and south attract. And this time we're going to bring two, oh, and that's the end of it. So having looked at that video, let's have a look at experiment number one. If we bring two North Poles together, they are going to repel each other. Write up your conclusion. Number two. If you bring a North Pole and a South Pole together, they should attract. And the third experiment, if you bring two South Poles together, they're going to move away from each other. They are going to repel. So our overall conclusion, you need to write this down, will be like poles e.g. north and north, or south and south, will repel. Whereas opposite poles, like north and south, will attract each other. I'm going to pause the video now for you to write up your conclusions. The third non-contact force. We've looked at static electricity. We've looked at magnetism. Now let's have a look at gravity. Gravity is a force that is necessary for the universe to exist. It is a force of attraction between objects that contain atoms and have mass. The larger the objects and the closer they are, the larger the force of gravity between them. The sun generates a large gravitational pull on planet Earth causing Earth to orbit around the Sun once a year. Even though we are 150 million kilometers from the Sun on average. In actual fact, that's not quite right. This is our orbit around the Sun. At this point, we are 152 million kilometers from the Sun. That is called an aphelion. Whereas at this point here, we are a little bit closer to the sun, 147 million kilometers. We call that point the perihelion. 
little bit of science information there. And notice, look at the sun, it doesn't look quite circular. Look at this little bit at the top here. It's a little bit odd. Read this paragraph if you would. It tells you why the sun appears to be slightly larger and slightly smaller in the sky. It's because it gets a little bit closer and a little bit further away throughout the year. A little bit of fun now. The earth is relatively big compared to us and the people that I'm not going to draw are not to scale. Now, the earth exerts a force of gravity on us. Draw five sticks men, stick men, women standing on their feet on the earth's surface, obviously not to scale in the following locations, Greenland. <laughs> Greenland, North America, North America, remember feet on the ground, South America, feet on the ground, South Africa, feet on the ground, and then in the Middle East, a little bit of geography, and doesn't that look a little bit odd? But we're all standing with our feet firmly on the ground. Measuring forces. Forces can be measured using a force meter called a Newton meter. Force meters contain a spring connected to a metal hook. The spring stretches when a force is applied to the hook. Let's have a look. You can see the Newton meter here, the force meter. And the bigger the object down here, the more the spring is going to stretch and it's going to give us a force reading. The bigger the force, the longer the spring stretches and the bigger the reading. The unit of force is called the Newton after Sir Isaac Newton and it is given the sim symbol capital N. The greater the force, the bigger the number. So 100 Newtons is a much bigger force than 5 Newtons. The last video that we're going to look at is a very simple experiment. We're going to take different um, objects. So this is going to be the object and we're going to measure their weight force downwards. So this is weight force and you put the units in here, capital N for Newtons. And so I'd like you to complete this table whilst we look at this final video in lesson two. So here we go, we're measuring the glue stick and it looks like the glue stick is 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7. This is what we're aiming for, 0 0.7 Newtons. The golf ball. We look at this edge here. It looks like it is 0 0.5 Newtons. There it is. The torch, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.65, 0 0.7, 0 0.75 Newtons. The battery looks just about dead on 1.00 Newtons. And finally, the chalk, 1, 
1.05, 1.1, 1.15, 1.2, 1.25 newtons is your final answer. Well done. End of lesson.